What's good everyone? In today's video, I will show you how to make zucchini bread using this very simple recipe. If you want more gardening, cooking videos in the future, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to this channel. And with all that out of the way, let's begin. So here is the stuff that you will need. You're gonna need three cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, three eggs, one cup vegetable oil, two and a quarter cups of white sugar, three tablespoons, te teaspoons, three teaspoons of vanilla extract, two cups of grated zucchini, and one cup shot, and one cup of chopped walnuts. Now let's get bacon. So here's the steps to begin cooking your zucchini bread. So firstly, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna grease two eight by four inch pans. Here's a picture of them on the screen, because they look a lot different than you might actually imagine. Now you're going to want to preheat the oven to 325, voice crack, 325 degrees, not 425 degrees, 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know Celsius, I'll flash that up on the screen right now. Alright, so then what you're going to want to do is you want to sift flour, salt, baking powder, soda, and cinnamon together in a bowl. Now what you're going to want to do is beat the eggs, vanilla, oil, not the type oh my God. not the type of oil that you'll usually get from the store like i don't know what type of oil the place i got this from is not being that specific all right vanilla and sugar together in a large bowl add sifted ingredients to creamed mixture and beat well stir in zucchini and nuts until well combined pour to 60 minutes and Pour batter into prepared pans. Oh my god, I can't read off of my own script. Now, you're gonna wanna put that in the oven. Bake for 40 to 60 minutes. I would much rather prefer you bake for 60 minutes, that way it's cooked thoroughly. All right. Or, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna bake until the tester, which um, I don't do a lot of baking, so I think that's the thing that like measures like degrees and stuff like that, or until the tester inserted to the center comes out clean. So like, you come out, there's absolutely nothing on it. So there can't be like the the serum, uh, no, you, there can't be like, not the serum, the um, mixture attached to it. Just absolutely nothing, just comes out clean. And then you're gonna wanna cool it in the pan for 20 minutes. Now you're gonna wanna remove the bread from the pan and let it just completely cool. Well guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful or you want to learn more about this, check out the sub button. I would highly want to, I really want to hit 200 by the end of the summer. So if you feel extra generous today and go the extra mile, please drop a like and subscribe to this channel. So yeah, not only 200, but 1000. So let's end this video right now.